Right, it's oh, quarter five. I'm going to get myself organised and then get these last few in. After a massive palaver, because I had to go over the vents and everything, including the sand and cement. Here's your single door. Happy Saturday the uh, 11th of May Solo today, Alex is off his mates for the weekend So I took on this job because this is a bit more straightforward than the normal lintel We put the scaffold up the other day when we were here And um, there you go, it's just the two courses over the door It's very strange, obviously obviously there's no lintel there But um, this uh, the brickwork above this frame is the lime mortar. Would like a groove in it. Oh yeah, that'd be off the original. That'd be off the original timber frame. That. Yeah. Yeah. It's the groove in the mortar from when they built over the original timber frame. So these have managed to get this frame out and wedge this thing in quick before everything fell down. And then probably just repointed it with red. That's that's uh, unbelievable. That it's a 2.7 lintel list, and they, they've got the door out and put put the door in before the brickwork fell on. It's only two courses, but it's just that was just hanging in the air. That there's nothing that's reinforcing it. And so yeah, and I won't need to prop the lintel from below because I can prop off this frame because the frame sits proud of the brickwork, which is weird. But uh, nothing surprises me anymore. Oh yeah, there's a, a glimpse into the cavity. There's the internal timber lintel. Two coarse of brick, 4x2, 4x2 wall plate, and tiny little spars, 3x2 spars. I say these are 60s houses, these. And then you've got this timber across here to fix the, fit, the soffit to. So, um, yeah, there you go. Really, the soffit should be sat on top of the brickwork. But, um, anyway, I'm going to put it all back nice and straight, and then they can decide what to do with the facing soffit. This is pl nail on plastic, it's just been nailed over the timber, which isn't the ideal way to do it. So, uh, I'm going to get the rest of this out, get them all cleaned up, which is usually Alex's job. And these are worse because they've got a mastic on the face. This mastic stuff that never goes off. Horrible stuff. And you've got the hardwood sub hardwood subframe and then the aluminium frame fitting inside it. That's it, that's that's an 80s door for you. So yeah, I'm gonna crack on and get the rest of these brick out and then I can start cleaning. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll film this bit, shall we?
Right. Time to get cleaning. Right. I'm down on the ground. I can do a bit more talking while the radio is talking. There's the bitch ready to go. There's the opening done. And obviously it's all to do. I think while I've got to lift the scaffold, I might get these all cleaned up, stack them, move the scaffold along and just strip everything out today because it's not um it's not affecting anything if it's left overnight. Um the next door soffit has dropped a bit, but that can't be repaired until this soffit gets repaired and then it can be pieced up then. So it's just dangling a bit, but it's not not too bad. Um yeah, I think I'll do that, I'll get it all stripped out, get all the mess done and then um see how I get on today. Anyway, I'll show you the scaffold that's come. Cheers. Okay. The facey the bricks. That's what I mean. Yes. That's what it is, so that's it. Like a big wood little in there, doesn't it? Yeah. Nine times out of ten, there's a wooden level in there. Sometimes concrete throws a bit. Because he used to build over the frame. Yeah. I did have one, but I've knocked it off now. <coughs> the um, still had the motor in the frame. Yeah. Hello. Right, that's that half done. Um, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 30 bricks. And our new fan, which is keeping me cool when I clean the bricks. As usual, great piece of kit. And also plugging in the mains. See Christine pinching that off me when it's when they're in the house later and it's hot. So here we go. So that's them done. I've dropped the scaffold, moved it over because it's that easy. Uh, I was gonna ask the customer to help me break out find them, so we're just gonna lift it, but anyway, it's here now. I can just about reach to the end. So I'm gonna strip everything out and then get the bricks cleaned up and then regroup and see how we get on. Just hope everything lines up when we put a line through. You can see the cracks in this. Just hope it hasn't moved too much. If it has, I'll just have to take a couple off that and straighten it up. It does look like it's uh, gone a bit. Well, yeah, um, doing well. I was going to go for a break now, but um, I can't get out. 
the barricade is the gate and I can't get through there so um, I might just take that off to get in and out so I'm going to have a long dinner instead so let's get this carry on here's your single door A wink in the crowd. Right. There you go. A blob of foam. No, a blob of silicon. No. That's what you're up against. Six packers of wing in the prayer, that's what's holding that up. a little but um, it doesn't seem to be reaching the brickwork uh, it's a strange one <laughs> I can see this is the worst bit it's dropped in valley to put the steel of the lintel in uh, this bit's been rebuilt poorly Piece of bar on top of the window. Don't know what you're up to, up to achieve with that. Ow, that hit. That's the nails. There you go. Oh, together with foam. It looks like steel. It's a piece of hardwood, <laughs> which um, which bends. So then now they expect to hold the bricks up with that. Hmm. Is this on top of the window? What a load of crap. That's um, that's the bad side of window fitting. Where they know the, they know it needs a lintel, and they just attempt just put it in anyway. I hope for the best, and then they walk away, and then all this happens. This should have been done before the window was fitted, and it's like I say, it's only two cores. It's not a massive job to do this back end, but they decide to go the, the quick and easy way. This is price break for you. They'll get to a job, and they'll see it needs a lintel, but they're on a price, so it's like they lose a day's work if they don't do it. That's the way things run. So uh, I've got a blank canvas now. So I'm going to go cleaned up, get the bits cleaned up, and go and have my dinner. And then back to it after dinner. So uh, see you in a bit. Past 11, done for. Right, the way through that was like wood because obviously it was cast 
in timber, but it's concrete. But you've got the green wood off in the concrete, which looks really smart. So we've got a nice big gap to pack up here, but I might just put that crappy piece of timber back in just to support the lintel. Same here, and then we've got the whole frame to pack up off that side. So I'm going to have a quick dinner. Um, well, not quick because I haven't had a break. I'm going to have a, look, a decent dinner and then um, get all this crap tidied out and get a mix on. I'll have to put the mixer outside there. No, no. The mixer's going to have to go here. I'll tell you what, I'll get these patio doors open so I can get access in and out of there. Yeah, that's what I'll do. So, uh, yeah. Get myself organised after dinner. I'm getting a bit peckish now. I'm going to grab my cup and escape through this way. I'll put you on charge. After a massive palaver, because I had to go over the vents with everything, including the sand and cement, mix is on. It was ready with a tiny bit of black in it and ready to start. Fits bricks and iron ready. Just need to put a tiny corner here and obviously set the lintels up, pack them up, and jobs are good and we're off. So, um, we well, yeah, need to get the insulation up as well, get some of that up. So, let's get cracking. Clock on the radio and it's not been changed, so it's an hour slow. No, it's an hour fast. It's an hour slow. This is ten past three anyway, <clears throat> but it's ten past four. So I've got all this side done. It's been super awkward again. Obviously, I blocked the gate up, so that access was gone. Just got this thing in, bloody heavy thing. Got the insulation in, got it packed. Got my line up, got my mortar, so it's just a matter of getting these ones in now. So it's going to be a late one for me, but I'm having a late one, so I don't have to come in tomorrow. Oh. There's nothing nasty found inside. All the hard bit was just the situation and the working area and whatever you put. Yeah, we just get on with it, don't we? Smile and wave. So I'm going to crack on and carry on through. I'm just going to trace the bond through dry. Perks like for a start. So we uh, carry on.
right it's oh, quarter five but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen bricks to go. End of the three hand ones. So we're over the lintel. So I'm gonna get down, get that mixer tipped out and get some stones in it. Because this stuff's been mixed all day now, so it's going hard fast. That needs knocking up, I'm gonna get all the crap don't need off the scaffold. And, um I'm not tidying up today because we're coming back and um, nobody lives here so I'm just gonna leave all the crap on the scaffold. And hopefully Alex will do that for us when we're back up and we'll be up on that scaffold around the corner. I'm going to get myself organised and then get these off.
Straightforward, half past five. There's lintel, no tray, no vents, because that's it. That's it. Lintel, brickwork, insulation. It's nice and straight now, put into a line so the soft will sit straight. There you go, ready for the windows now. So that's, that's four done now. So it's um, been a long day, but I've got three done in one day because they're a bit more straightforward. No, I'm not going to